Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my four top ab exercises that have made me successful in my career as a bodybuilder and I know is going to help you achieve your goal when it comes to building detailed abs, small waist and amazing looking obliques. So before we go into the exercises, I'm going to tell you what I see in the gym every single time when I see people do ab exercises. Most people focus too much on numbers. They count in numbers upon numbers upon numbers. They're moving their body from point A to point B and there's nothing happening in their abs or obliques, no contractions at all. Sometimes I ask some of my clients or general people in the gym before they became my client, I'll be like, how many ab exercises do you do? How many reps do you do? How many sets do you do? Some of them will tell me that they do about 200, ab exercise, 200 reps of ab exercise every day. It's almost impossible for you to do that many ab repetition without even feeling your abs at all. So if you're doing 200 ab exercises or 200 repetitions in one set, I'm telling you right now that your abs are not contracting. You're not really gaining anything from that. Because if you're going too fast, which I see in the gym all the time, people are doing reps, going one, two, three, they're counting. Instead of listening to their muscles, instead of allowing their muscle to do the movement before they actually do the movement. The reason why I'm telling you about muscle contracting first before you add movement, there's something that I always use called time under tension. In building muscle, time under tension is very, very important. Time on the tension allows you to connect the muscle while you're doing the movement. If there's no time on the tension, you're just going through the motion without any feeling in the muscle. So this means that we need to slow the movement down. We need to allow the muscle to do the movement before the movement starts itself. So if I'm going to work my bicep, for example, if I hold on to a dumbbell, I have to allow my bicep to contract first before the movement happens. So I'm going to show you my four great exercises that I've used over the years that has helped me in my bodybuilding career and I know for sure is going to help you in your goal, whatever goals you're trying to achieve, this is going to help you. So I'm going to give you the names first before I show you the exercises. One great exercise that, I like, that everybody does is called sit-ups. But what I don't do, I don't, I don't do sit-ups because when you do sit-ups, I'm going to be showing you in a few minutes. When you do sit-ups, all you're doing is moving your body or your back from one section of, your, of the movement to the other section without really contracting your body. So what I do is I rather do what I call elevated crunches. I do not do sit-ups. I'm going to show you in a few minutes. From there, the second exercise that I do is called the dragonfly. I don't know if anybody, any of you guys out there have heard about the dragonfly. I will modify the dragonfly today because it's highly advanced. I'll do a modif modified exercise of the dragonfly and I'll do the advanced part of it. This, the third one that I'm going to do is oblique twist. Um, oblique twist basically helps you walk your obliques, make your waist come in a little bit smaller. So when your abs are detailed, your waist are also going to be smaller and you can see your intercostals, your obliques coming from the side of your body straight into the front, into your abs. And the fourth one that I'm going to do is called the bicycle. The bicycle is a wildly known ab exercise. But I will show you the way I do it. Not the way everyone else does it, that they're not seeing results. I'm going to change your mind today when it comes to building your abs, looking shredded, and looking great at all times. Okay guys, this is the first exercise that I love to do for my abs to get my abs more detailed, more shredded, and looking great. So what I do, I do something, instead of doing sit-ups, because I see people do sit-ups every single time. Instead of doing sit-ups, I do what is called elevated crunches. So this bench that I'm using right now, is, it's a little smaller, but you want to go on a decline bench in the gym, and then you hook yourself on a decline bench, and then you lean down, go all the way back, okay? You want to put your hands behind your head, Instead of doing sit-ups, 
So this is what most guys do. Sit-ups. They rest it. Right now, as I'm doing that, I can't even feel my abs at all. So what I do is I call it elevated crunches. So I go on a decline bench. I squeeze my abs first before I move my shoulders. And I just leave my shoulders. As I'm squeezing my abs, I lift my shoulders off the bench a little. And then I come back down. Right there. Squeeze my abs first. Lift my shoulders. And come back down. Right there. I'm going to do one more. Lift my shoulders. Squeeze my abs. And use my abs to pull my body up. So, that is the way I do my elevated crunches. I do not do sit-ups. Because when you do sit-ups, you come all the way up. You are not really using your abs. You're just going through the motion. Um, so, Keep this in mind, it's not about how many repetitions you do, it's about how much contraction you're getting in your muscle. So the goal here is to use your abs first to pull your shoulders off the bench a little bit, slowly, and then you come back down to the bottom and repeat it again. You're going to you're gonna be surprised that you wouldn't be able to do a lot of repetition because don't worry about that because what's happening now is like your muscles are contracting more then your body is moving up and down. So at the end of the day, we're here to build muscle and not just to do repetitions. My second exercise that I love to do for abs is called decline oblique tweaks. Decline oblique tweaks can be done on the decline bench. So I have a little small bench right here to just show you what I'm gonna be doing with my oblique twist. So what you do is, you, if you're going to walk your left side, the left side of your obliques, as we know that walking the obliques or getting the obliques tighter makes your waist look smaller. So you're going to go ahead and cross, hang the left side of your leg into the hook of the decline bench, and then you cross the other one over that way. As you cross the other one over on top of it, you lean over, left hand on top of your back of your head, and then you cross over to the other side and squeeze. Drop your shoulders back down. Up and squeeze really slow. A little slow right there. Up and squeeze. Right there. Up and squeeze. Right there, twist to the side. Up and twist. Like that. So, so that is the way I get my obliques, my intercostals. As you guys can see when I flex my intercostals right there, that right there is my favorite exercise that I use to get my obliques really tight from the side of my body into the, the lower side of my abs. So this is what I really do for my obliques that makes my wig smaller. When I turn sideways on stage, my obliques looks more shredded. And um, this is the exercise that I do for my obliques. My third exercise is the dragonfly. Now, I'm going to warn you, this exercise is highly advanced. But, I'm going to show you the modified version of the dragonfly. And then I'm going to show you the advanced. Um, the dragonfly, I can say, is my favorite ab exercise. Because it gets everything from the top of your sternum. To the lower side of your pelvis. It gets everything working 100%. So I'm going to show you the modified version first, then I'll show you the advanced. So you get a bench, you lower on the bench, grab the other side of the bench, make sure it's a flat bench, I know the decline bench, and then you want to extend your legs out. As you extend your legs out past 45 degrees, you want to lift your hips up, extend your legs forward, and drop it back down. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Grab the bench, lift your hips up, squeeze, come back down, and lower your abs. So make sure you squeeze your abs first to maintain that angle. So because when you maintain that angle, your abs are firing 100%. Because if you don't use your abs and you just lift your hips, you're just moving your hips up and down. So make sure you get the abs contracted first to lift your hips off the bench and extend your leg at 45 degree angle. Now the advanced version of the dragonfly is while you come in, it's the same angle, but instead of going all the way down and resting your hips on the bench, you're not going to rest your hips on the bench throughout the set. So this is what it looks like. 
So you go back down to the same position and take this out. You're going to grab the bench, go up, lower your abs, your legs, and then lift back up. Lower your hips, don't touch the bench, lift the back up. Same thing, lower your hips, lift back up. Woo! Now, that is a very intense ab exercise. Um, everything from the top of my sternum to the lower side of my abs, they're firing 100%. And as you guys can hear my breath right now, I'm a little bit out of breath. And I only did three reps, you know. So don't focus on how many repetitions you do. Just make sure you focus on what the muscle is doing, how the muscle is contracting, what the feel you're getting back from it. You can be able to do three when you start, then as time goes on, as you get stronger and better, you'll be able to do a little bit more to intensify your workout. That is my third exercise for my abs. This is the fourth exercise that I'm gonna show you today. It's called the bicycle. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this exercise performed in the gym many, many, many times. And people just twisting their body, twisting their shoulders, going really fast. You know, it's not about how fast you go, it's not about how many reps you do, it's about how, you know, your muscles are contracting so you can benefit from the exercise. You can keep the intensity up. So I'm going to show you the wrong way that I see people do this exercise in the gym, and then I'll show you the right way. First of all, I'm going to show you the wrong way. The wrong way, what I see, people just keep twisting their shoulders and turning their body around and around, all over the place, and counting reps. And when you do that, yeah, maybe you can be able to do 60 or be able to do 100 and then you're showing up for your friends that how many you can do. But in this situation, that's not why we're here. We're here to maximize your result, make sure all the efforts you're using to do your workout is you're going to see the result that you're supposed to see and not just moving your body and counting reps. So remember, this is not about ego training. This is detailed training. This is specific training. This is the result, this is the training that's gonna give you the results you're looking for. So I'm gonna show you the proper way. You know, I'm doing this on the bench right now. You can do it on the mat if you want to. So I'm gonna go back on my back, hands behind my head, bring my leg up a little high, about maybe 90 degree angle, and as I extend my right leg, I just squeeze my abs to rotate my right shoulder to my left leg. Squeeze right there, and I do the same thing coming back, extend, turn my shoulder, and squeeze. If you guys can see, I'm not jerking my body all over the place. I'm just making sure that abs is squeezing 100% right there. I'm just turning my shoulder as far as I can go, and come back, turn my shoulders as far as I can go. Come back, turn my shoulders, using my abs first, and then I turn my shoulders. Now, that's how I perform my bicycle exercise. Make sure your abs lead your rotation. Use your abs to lead your rotation. Don't just rotate and turn your, sh your shoulders to your left side or your right side without really feeling what's going on. So make sure you rotate, squeeze your abs first, and then use the abs to rotate your shoulders to the op opposite direction. So these are my four favorite ab exercises. And if you're going to do abs, you know, there's always a debate out there about how many days a week you need to work your abs or how many sets you need to do or how many reps you, to, you need to do. For me, this is the way I do it. If I train my abs today and they're not sore the next day or a couple of days after, I'm training my abs again. Um, you guys know that we don't use our abs as much. You know, we sit down all the time. Sometimes we'll drive, we're in our car driving our car. Um, we're not really contracting our abs because our abs are mostly for stabilization. So in order for you to get better results with your abs, you need to pay more attention to them. So if your abs are not sore, make sure you hit them again. And um, repetition is mostly between about 15 to 20 reps if you can. So if you're doing more than 20 repetitions, that means you're not really getting your abs involved because the abs will fatigue very fast if you really use them the way it's supposed to be used. And approximately three to four sets, depending on your fitness level. Um, so this is what I do to get my abs detailed. And one more important thing, you know, just because you're working your abs, you're building your ab muscles, you're letting your, making your abs contract, 
doesn't mean all of a sudden you're going to see your abs showing. The most important thing here, after you've done all these exercises, make sure you make the right choices when it comes to nutrition. Very, 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 very important because nutrition is the first component of fitness. So you want those abs to really show when you take your clothes off or when you want to, you know, kind of show off to your friends. Make sure you make all the right choices when it comes to food. Eat healthy all the time. Make sure you look at your, your, your training, uh, your, your nutrition food. Make sure you look at your nutrition log and make sure you eat the things that you need to eat to, let, to get those abs come out the way you want to. And one more thing, guys. I'm sure you guys have been watching all these videos that I've been putting out every week. Um, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button below or send some comments to me. Um, ask me a question. I'll be very, very happy to really answer all your questions. And if you want to get a full detail of this program, please go to MiamiMuscleUSA.com to get a full detail of this, of this program. So, Mojiolua from Miami Muscle, signing out. See you.